everyone. How are you? So good to see you. I have to share. Oh my gosh. I was so sick last week, you guys. Oh, I was so sick. It was the craziest thing. And I feel terrible because I got sick and then I was fine the next day because it literally only lasts like 24 hours at that. Then my kids got sick and I went to my best friends. Most of you know my best friend is Nikki from high school and I've been friends for 30 years. And then I got her whole family sick and I feel so bad about it. Anyway, so I am doing catch up. Meaning that you know how it is after you travel out of town, everything is just out of sorts. And um, had to go to the grocery store. Now I'm doing meal prep as much as I possibly can. And I wanted to share some things with you. Some tips that I love. And one of my favorite things is parchment paper. And I'm going to tell you why. Because when I'm going to show you. I forgot to put my parchment paper down when I, I love to make these, see, see these chicken breasts? These are gluten-free chicken breasts. Um, I can't remember the brand, I forgot to grab the box to show you. But you can get them in the freezer department and it's not Purdue, it's not any of that. It's, oh God, not Carson's, maybe it is Carson's. I'll put it in the comments after, but they're really good, really fresh, they don't come pre-cooked. Um, and it's, it's nice and crunchy and yummy. So, I forgot to put my parchment paper down, and look at the mess I have. Now, if I had put my parchment paper down, it would have been easy cleanup, take the paper off, put my next item on, okay? So, like right now, I have some green beans in there. I had a piece of spinach pie, which, by the way, I'm still on the search for a spinach pie recipe because I picked one up at Nino Savaggio, and I'm like, I don't like this. So, now what I'm going to do is I took the insides out of it, and I'm gonna, um, I feel like it needs to be blended more and maybe added, maybe add some more feta cheese in there or something. Who knows? And I know a pregnant lady really shouldn't be eating a whole lot of feta cheese, but it is still something that I like. So when you are um, doing some meal prep, parchment paper is gonna be your best friend because you don't have to worry about a messy pan. You're just like done on to the next. So now I'm gonna take my parchment paper and put it on this dirty pan, but the only reason why I'm doing that is because now I'm going to be cooking some bacon, got some fresh bacon from the butcher at Nino's today, and then this way, it's not so crazy in the mornings, you know, when I'm getting my son ready for school, and so I'll just lay the pieces of bacon, you know, on the paper, easy breezy. And then it's such an, you know, it's just so much easier to clean up. I just, I don't have all that grease and mess and stuff just like you saw in the pan. So I'll just do that. See how easy that is. Now I like to use, usually like to use a much bigger pan, but it's all I have available. And actually I'm on my way to Marshall's as soon as I get done with you guys. Because <clears throat> I realize I'm like, I need more pans, I need more pots, I need more serving dishes. I'm like, Ah, summertime's coming, you know what I'm saying? And we do a lot of entertaining, so I'm like, what happened to all my stuff? Anyway, another tip I wanted to share too while I'm standing here is, because I have my stuff like all around. Um, I've got my container that I'm gonna be putting my water in. Now, a tip for you, okay? This big, beautiful jug I got from my girlfriend, Heather, and I love it. Um, one of the biggest mistakes it comes with one of those things you know the diffuser thing and you could put fruit in it and all this stuff but I realized what works better for me is if I just put if I squeeze my fresh lemon in there and I have my water and my lemon and then if I want to add other things in like strawberries or mint or cucumber because oh hi Amanda I thought about you when I bought this I did um because what happens is, is you know, the other stuff tends to get really mushy and yucky. And then you're like, okay, now what? It kind of gets the water. Okay, so my advice is if you are going to do any type of water like that, I would just water with the lemon, because I like my lemon water at room temperature. It's, you know, really, I think it's better for you that way anyway. And then I will add a slice of cucumber, mint, a strawberry, whatever it is that I want. So it's already there and it's prepped. Got it? Okay. So parchment paper, the water thing here, 
I need to get the brand of chicken for you for this because this is my absolute favorite. It's gluten free, no um, antibiotics or any of that stuff. You know, whatever they put in the chicken. <sighs> kind of grosses me out. Actually, meat right now is kind of grossing me out. <sighs> Being pregnant has its weirds. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> There are some things I'm like, ah, you know, which by the way, I could probably show you guys my belly. It's getting there. It's getting there. I um, was really feeling her a lot today. I'm like, oh my God. So I'm now 19 weeks and how many days? Three days. So this Saturday I will be 20 weeks, so officially halfway. And then next Tuesday, so a week from today, is when I have the um, ultrasound where they look at all her little fingers and toes and all of that and I'll probably be able to see her face and I'll probably be crying uncontrollably. So I'm really excited about that. But I'm really excited to be halfway through. Wow. And I've gained 20 pounds. Ah. <laughs> I don't know if that's this or this. I'm like, well, I guess it's not too terrible. It could be worse, you know, pound a week-ish, kinda, you know? So, all right. Those are my tips, and um, here's another thing I have to do too, you guys. I don't know if you're a fan of red cabbage, but this is one of my favorite, 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 favorite things. <sighs> I love it. I will shred it up, and I use apple balsamic vinegar, okay, with a little bit of mayonnaise, and that is what I use for the dressing. Apple balsamic vinegar and a little bit of mayo, um, it's amazing. I am quite certain that I could find something to replace that mayonnaise, but when it comes to coleslaw, I really like my mayo. I mean, it just is what it is, right? So, okay, I have to get my bacon going, get that in the oven, get my water all set, get my um, my cabbage going. I even ha I got a batch of kombucha I have to bottle here. I'm like, ah, oh, I just feel so behind. But you know what it is? I'm not really behind, it's because I'm starting to nest. Those of you that know the whole pregnancy jam, you know that this is about that time when you start to like, okay, I need this, I need that, I gotta organize this, I have to have that, that's gotta be cleaned, you can't wear those pants anymore, you gotta get rid of that shirt. <laughs> it's the funniest thing, and my husband thinks I'm crazy every time, but it's hilarious because I had said to her, I'm like, we gotta go with your clothes. We have to go through clothes. Yeah, we gotta get rid of some of those things. <laughs> so anyway, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And I always try to provide you as many tips as I possibly can. And if you're just catching, if you're just catching me, just watch the replay. I have some great tips for you. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.